In April 2021, we launched HOME, Lavo's management platform for network broadcast infrastructures. It was developed from scratch to connect, secure and manage live production setups in IP-based facilities. It addresses the most pressing requirements of modern media production workflows, including device discovery and registration, orchestration, operability and security, scalability and agility. We know that your goal is to realize your creative vision. The many different products and services you buy are just tools to help you along the way. At Lava, we take a systems approach and provide a range of interrelated and interdependent products and services to make your jobs easier. Our goal with Home is to improve those systems and build a platform to solve many common customer requirements and workflows. I will give you an example. A discovery mechanism which detects devices and enables users to include additional gear into an existing production setup is a central functionality. Developing such a mechanism for our audio production products and a different one for our video processing gear would be absolutely pointless, especially as application borders in our markets continue to dissolve. With Home, we address common system functionality with common technology and common workflows. This means we can spend more time and energy elsewhere, focusing on the unique solutions that help you to do your job more effectively. So why don't we see what's new since we launched last year? Dot Edge is our new video processing and routing product. Naturally, it has native home integration. Dot Edge is automatically discovered and registered, and then our admission process begins. The device is initially quarantined, as it may be new to the setup, but I can access the device in its quarantine network, make sure it's configured correctly and it's not misbehaving, and then admit it onto the live network when I'm ready. And Home can help us to simplify this entire process. It has a built-in DHCP service, which automatically assigns IP addresses to devices and streams. So the configuration of a device through Home could be a lot faster. Even for a hyperdense system like Dot .edge, just a few steps need to be performed to get it up and running on the network. And to help operate Dot .edge in Home, we've added the configuration of SDI inputs and outputs. It's easy to set up gearboxes, frame syncs, idents and test patterns. But you can also configure and control video and metadata flows now. If we look at the receivers for this device, we can clearly see there's a video essence, four audio essences and a metadata essence related to this one SDI output. They're a natural grouping because they all relate to the same signal. And this kind of handling of essences flows through the entire UI. That's right. Let's look at stream routing. We've got a few dot edge devices here. If I want to route one SDI input to an SDI output, I just select the source and destination and hit connect. And that's routed all related essences in one go. But just to be clear, we do not force this grouping method to all interconnections. No, absolutely not. If you want to route essences individually, expand one of the sources, select just the essence you need, do the same at the destination side. So we optimize for the most common workflows, but we allow you to expose more complexity when you need to. Speaking of audio routing, one of the very important tasks in audio routing is the ability to do a channel mapping. How is this addressed in home? Again, this uses a common workflow and presentation. So for example, we can select any source or destination and bring up the IO routing. So for devices like A-Stages, we're interacting with the entire internal audio matrix. But for devices like Dot Edge, we're shuffling audio in and out of senders and receivers. Cool. But this is not the only place where we can bring up this routing dialog. When you're configuring a device and setting up the senders or receivers, you can bring up the exact same workflow wherever you need it. This is one of the principles of Lux, the Lavo Unified Experience. We're trying to create modular and reusable workflows and making them accessible wherever you need them.
One last topic. I remember that you showed me a functionality which I can't completely recall. Assume you have a rack full of gear and its representation in the inventory list. What kind of abilities and possibilities do I have to identify what entry relates to which physical gear? For a long time, Lava devices have had this function where in a UI, you can press a button and identify that physical device, sure. whether it flashes an LED or shows a message in a display. With Dot Edge, we can do the reverse. Okay. There's a call home button on each card. And when you press call home, the UI notifies you about that device. A notification appears, identifying it and letting you get straight to the device you need. That's good. A year after introducing HOME and some important and trendsetting projects later, we would like to give you an update on audio production specific functionality. Lucas, could you guide us through the achievements made over the last months? Absolutely. The last couple of months have been challenging but really exciting for all of us. We've not only been able to deliver home-based systems for some of the biggest sports events, but also for some of the most advanced OB trucks, theater and opera houses, and music production systems all over the world. Meanwhile, HOME not only discovers all our devices for an audio production system and provides one single interface to manage them, but also allows to, for example, set the sample rate of the system, either per device or as a global modifier. The sample rate is a good example of what is stored in the new global home snapshots. Snapshots are storing the entire device configuration and routing state, allowing to easily recall that at a later point in time. Mm -hmm. Of course, snapshots are not only storing audio production devices, but any device in the home inventory. Also video devices and even the configuration of NMOS enabled endpoints. Home is our guardian for the entire system. Consequently, it is managing the redundancy for A-Line UHD cores and mixing console control system. This involves providing required information and controls to the user, but also actively monitoring the health of these in order to trigger automatic failovers, enhancing the resilience of your system even more. So you can see the last months have been really busy for us and this is not the only thing we can add to the news. The next development perfectly fits into Lavo's overall strategy for home. Yes, MCX, the MC Squared Mixing Console Control System is now also available as a container. It can run side by side as a service under home with all the other microservices. You can spin up a single instance or as many as you need and connect them to your A-Line UHD core virtual mixers. Complete flexibility and scalability managed under one single roof. Very cool. One last point. We are very pleased to be collaborating with Merging Technologies, who are the first third-party vendor to have integrated their products with Home. Merging have just completed the integration of their Anubis and Harpy devices. Yes, the integration of the Merging product portfolio is very exciting for us and the result of a long-term partnership. The Merging I.O. portfolio is a perfect supplement for our very own A-Line series. Furthermore, made Merging's audio drivers enable any macOS or Windows-based workstation to work as a home native device in your environment, even at 96 kHz. Thank you very much, Lucas. We launched Home with support for Lavo's audio production devices, including MC Square mixers, AUHD cores, and A-Line I.O. devices. Since then, many more Lavo devices have been integrated with Home, including V-Matrix, the LCU commentary unit, PowerCore, and Relay. One of the core philosophies behind Home is that once a device has been discovered and registered, it should enable the broadest possible access to its functions through just a few control interfaces, ideally just a single one. Based on open source technology, Home specifies an API 
that allows detailed control and monitoring of devices. Gear and systems that use this API, including all those you mentioned, are first-class citizens. But look at this, we also see third-party devices in home. Yes, since there's never a single vendor setup, Home also provides NMOS functionality to make setup and control even more convenient. Home can retrieve information from NMOS compatible devices through an ISO4 registry and supports connection management through ISO5. That means that Home can route ST2110 streams between most types of gear. The most common functionality provided by NMOS is limited to discovery, registration and connection management. Consequently, working with NMOS compatible third parties is less comprehensive than working with first-class citizens. Interestingly, Home's native API is open to third party. Implementing it makes any third party device a first-class citizen which literally lives at home. To summarize, Home is NMOS compatible and is enabled for discovery and basic routing control of third party gear through NMOS ISO 4 and ISO 5. Home's native API does all that and in addition allows deeper and richer control of first class devices. And this first class support in Home is not limited to LAVO devices, it's actually open to all devices and vendors. Today, we are really pleased to announce that merging devices like the brand new Harpy are the first first-class citizens from a third-party vendor. Just like Labo devices, it can be completely managed within home. Nicola Stürmel, Senior Technologist at Merging Technologies. Nicola, what is driving merging to integrate with home? Home is perfectly aligned with merging history of supporting open media networks based on IT standards and best practices. The implementation of the protocol was both quick and based, ent based entirely on open software. These two considerations convinced us to join the home ecosystem in the first place to complement merging broad interoperability support through AS67 and ST2110. Home provides the missing link for users who wish to leverage the full potential of their network equipment in a time-efficient and intuitive way. Thank you, Nicola. That is also important for Labo. Users can now control their merging gear within the same ecosystem as their MC Square consoles. They get access to the system parameters from the convenience of their workspace. If you are interested to make your Edge device a first-class citizen that really lives at home, please do not hesitate to get in touch with us. As you can see, a lot has happened over the past months and we continue to move forward. If you are interested in home and you want to see home in action, consider visiting us at one of the next live events or schedule a demo at experience.lavo.com. Anyway, we are happy to hear from you again or, even better, see you in person. Thank you very much for your time and your interest. <laughs>